Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. This is Meno Skyn, and I'm just back from France. It was a nice trip, I have to say, but so many things happened while I couldn't get in front of a PC. The first, the very first one I wanted to address is that the BuzzFeed video that has been doing the rounds of the internet with questions from Americans to Italians. Let's start with question number one. How come all of your men can eat all the pasta that they want, but still be as hot as they are? Well, we're just kind of awesome like that, you know? Okay, lie. First, there are plenty of Italian men with bellies and not exactly healthy bodies. So it's not that we can just eat pasta whenever we want, as much as we want, and stay sexy. It doesn't work like that. We need to exercise, and most of all, we need to keep our diet balanced. The biggest difference between our diet and yours, Americans, is balance. The Mediterranean diet is considered the healthiest in the world, is the healthiest in the world, because of the balance of its components. There is a bit of pasta, a little bit of meat, lots of fish and vegetables, and wine and oil are integral parts of it because of their effects on the body to combat aging and stuff. Then there is also the fact that we like fresh products. We don't keep a lot of canned stuff in the house. So we, most of the things we eat have to be thrown away if they're not eaten immediately. Fortunately, we eat most of everything. So yeah, we like to keep things fresh from the greenhouse or the sea or the forest or wherever the hell, you know. And lastly, the sugar, America. Stop eating things with that much sugar in it. We don't do that. That's Another secret to having a sexy Italian body. Next question. Do you guys ever get sick of pasta? Because you eat it every day, I think. Or do you not? No, we never get sick of pasta because we have so many kinds of pasta. There is the pasta that goes well with vegetable soups. There is the pasta that goes well with fish and meat and big pasta and small pasta and long pasta and short pasta. You know, so much variety. Why would we ever get sick of pasta? What can I do to marry a man like Claudio Marchisio? Well, there is a long-standing tradition of Italian soccer players only marrying Italian soubrettes, so first slip your way up that ladder and then you may have a chance. How do I manage to stay tan all year round? Like seriously, what's your secret? Uh, the sun? Also jeans, I guess, because don't forget that a lot of Italy was under Arab domination for a few centuries. HISTORY! Why do you speak with your hands? It's really hard to concentrate when you're doing it. Well, it's part of our culture. We just use body language a lot more than you do, and we have a lot more gestures than you do. Don't forget that for all your talks of independence, you still descend from the British, and those guys are pretty uptight when it comes to body language. How are you so sexy? Like, how is that a thing? Like, what are your secrets to being so sexy? First of all, our diet, the best in the world, it helps a lot, but also genes, because don't forget that first, Italy was the hub for the Roman Empire, and an empire has a lot of circulation of things and people from all angles of the empire. And even after the Roman Empire, we were dominated by French and Spanish and Arabs and Germans and so on. You know, English people were here too. So we took the best part of every DNA that came by Italy over the centuries and here we are. In Italy, are there any road rules? And if there are road rules, why does nobody follow them? Yes, we do have road rules, and yes, there are places where about respecting them it can get pretty bad, like Naples, the city I was born in, but it's not just because of the people, it's also because of the cities. Because the, there is another difference between America and Italy, and the fact is you are very young, your cities are very young. A lot of our cities had to be rebuilt from the ground up several times, with the result that there are mishmash of roads and alleys and uh, this, you know what I mean, it's a Frankenstein of a viability. Try driving your car or motorbike every single day in that labyrinth. Why do you guys have so many dialects? 
Well, because after the fall of the Roman Empire, most of the time, each little different piece of Italy was dominated by different people, Spanish, French, English, so each dialect has influences from their languages. For example, there are dialects in southern Italy that have sounds that are, like, identical to those you can find in French and Spanish. That can cause some pretty funny misunderstandings, because, uh, for example, there is a sentence in the Naples Napoli dialect that sounds like this, Apre pac e fait encore. And in French, it kinda translates to, after Easter, it's still a holiday. But in the dialect, it means uh, he spreads his ass cheeks and it still sticks. So what's the deal with prego? Like, is it, it's thank you? Prego. You're welcome. Prego. Here's some tomato sauce. Prego, 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 prego. What, like, what does it actually mean? Is it just everything? First of all, the way she uses it is completely wrong. I don't know where you heard it, but there is no Italian that uses prego like that. Second, it's a colloquialism that means either you're welcome or here you don't need to thank me. Uh, can you hand me that uh, glass of water over there? Here, prego, grazie, prego. That's really it. I don't know what the confusion is. How come Mario Alatelli doesn't have his own show? He's hilarious and adorable. Because while you guys only get the highlights of Balotelli, we get him full time, all of him. And Balotelli is an asshole, he's not a good soccer player, he's an asshole, he doesn't do well in teams and he's a team sport player, he's an asshole, he's very arrogant and he's an asshole. And did I already say that he's an asshole? Because he is! If I go to Italy, will I actually see a Super Mario Brother character walking around? Uh, no, also because Mario and Luigi lived in Brooklyn originally, they're not Italians, they're second generation Italian immigrants. So do y'all like all hate Olive Garden or like do you just feel like you have to because you're Italian? Okay, disclaimer, before this video I didn't know what Olive Garden was, but I can understand why a lot of Italians may hate it because the concept of a chain of standardized Italian cooking, it's preposterous. You can't standardize Italian cooking because its richness, its tastes, come from the fact that it's incredibly variegated. Even the same dish, depending on the area of Italy it's made in, it can taste differently. It can be done with different ingredients or with the same ingredient cooked in another way. It's it's, it's like that, it's because of the cultural variety of Italy as a country that permeates its cooking. So the idea of standardizing that, it's really an abomination. Yeah, now, okay, fuck Olive Garden. Happy? What the fuck is up with your dinner structure? I don't know how any human could put all of that inside themselves. So that just happened. An American asked Italians about the amount of food they put in their bodies. Okay, let me, let me humor this question. Let's say that, yeah, maybe Italians put as much food as uh, Americans do in their body. That's, that's absolute tosh. But let's put it that way. Let's do it like that. There is a little difference. No, it's not little. It's a very big difference. Our food is kind of healthier than the crap you eat in America, you know? There's a difference between eating a lot of vegetables, like 300 kilos of vegetable soup, and eating 300 kilos of cheeseburgers a year. There's that little difference. Think about it before... Jesus fuck, what's with this question? Are you fucking serious? Why do you like fish so much? Why does everybody in Italy just love fish? Okay, two dumb questions in a row. Okay, let me put it this way. Uh, have you ever seen a map of Italy? We're kinda of surrounded by the fucking Mediterranean Sea! Do you know how many kind of fishes live in that sea? How many kind of tasty, healthy, because that's the thing, fish is very healthy for your body. One of the secrets of the Mediterranean diet is that he has very little red meat, a little more white meat, but he has lots of fish and crustaceans that are not only good for you, they're also fucking awesome to eat and cook. 
Can you guys teach me how to cook? Because your dessert game is like really off the hook. Like I love, I love dessert in general, but like Italians kill it. Sure we can, but uh, sweets are kind of the last thing there is to learn about Italian cooking. If you want to learn Italian cooking, you have to learn pasta, fish, wine, oil, and so on. Literally, desserts are the last thing about Italian cooking. Well, those were some entertaining questions. A couple were really dumb, like, uh, well, what can I expect from BuzzFeed, really? Oh, well, what did you think about my answers, guys? Uh, do you have any more questions you want to ask an Italian? If you want, just leave them in the comments or one of my social media accounts. I'll be sure to get back to you maybe in another video. My name is Menos Kain, and I'll see you next time.